So people are calling out the SEC for not enforcing the rules for the threshold list and the FTDs, in particular for the case for AMC. For the second time this year, AMC have overstated the time frame that is allowed by law on the threshold list and this is something that a lot of people are paying attention to. Something very important, there is a rule that is and should be enforced from the SEC. This particular rule mandates broker dealers to close out fail to deliver positions within 13 consecutive settlement days, meaning the SEC should be following up and seeing that AMC this is happening for the second time this year. Nothing happened in the first time, nothing is happening right now. AMC has been two times over 13 days settlement periods in which has been on the threshold list and no one pays attention to no one from the SEC what people are referring to is picking up the phone calling up the brokers and said you know what you should go on the open market and purchase the shares at the market prices despite the clear requirement AMC Entertainment has remained on the threshold list for concerning 18 consecutive days so five days already above the requirements and the reason for it, as you may have guessed, is a fail to deliver and no one from the broker stepping up and purchasing the shares on open market. This exceeding the allowed time frame for closing out these positions, meaning that somebody has to have enforced this five days ago, at least. And again, this is happening for the second time. This is not first time something new, you know, uh, unprecedented give them some time to react give them some time to adapt to the market conditions first time this happened the stock i might be mistaken for the exact time frame but the stock stayed over a month the stock probably stayed over 30 days period on the threshold list and then simultaneously disappear and we all know there is certain times in which they could just go on the open market purchase a small chunk of shares not allowing the stock to be on the threshold list for a couple of weeks and then the stock could again pop out and buy out another time frame another month or so until somebody actually decides to take actions towards this and i bet this is not a surprise last time when this happened was around february when the cost to borrow again was over 1000 percent now the cost to borrow is again at or above 1000 percent we're having almost the highest short interest and we're having the times in which you see that the lawsuit development will take another hit. The new lawsuit was filed again against the settlement, which gives the court additional 10 days to work around this particular lawsuit separate from the original one. Remember, we had another lawsuit filed earlier last week that was asking AMC to run an annual meeting that every company in Delaware law should run at least an annual meeting so there are plenty of different postpones around the final decision from the settlement meaning at least two three weeks if not four weeks until the chancellor come up with the final decision on the settlement this drives the hedge funds nuts this means another two weeks paying let's say 500 six take an average cost to borrow let's not keep up with the highest max possible a thousand percent right give them 500 600 percent on average cost to borrow for sure for the next what two three weeks it's mind-blowing probably this is why you're seeing that the ape is dumping ape stock is down two three percent people who were trying to buy the ape cheap on and short the amc now they have to cover these high expenses from the shorting amc on the cost to borrow so now they're dumping the ape the positions that they acquire they take the money out from the ape most likely and paying this expensive cost to borrow fees this is how i have the understanding that the whole price action works of course i might be wrong about this but judging by the numbers by the history of the lawsuit and additional lawsuits that have been filed things will simply could drag additional three four weeks three four weeks of paying fees for the hedge funds on the short side of the common stock meaning they have to take the money from somewhere else other securities uh, other leverage or simply they have to dump the longs on the ape if they have some my question is will the sec act differently this time around they have a chance to improve and not miss the chance like they did first time to act and enforce the ftds and force the brokers to go on the open market and purchase all the amc shares at the market prices which could potentially mean we're speaking about hundreds of thousands if not millions of shares ftds fail to deliver which could push the ANC common even higher 
Today MC Kamen at some point was above 3% gains. Was this part of the reason for this price action? I don't know.